Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, one, two, three. So actually, when I was working in Trinidad and Tobago, which is a which is a country in the Caribbean, I was listening to a presentation by a local colleague. He kept like using the word bacchanal like during his presentation. And actually, when I was listening to him, actually I don't know what he was talking about, and I was so confused about like what's the meaning of it. Like I can barely guess about the meaning of the word. But then actually I. I have to like interrupt him during the presentation and ask him about the meaning of the word and it seems so embarrassing for me. And you know, this was the first time that I have ever encountered some cultural in, a cultural, in, a cultural misinterpretation like during my working area, my working career. And then actually uh, I was like so nervous at that time because that actually I couldn't uh, get along with the public. And with that kind of meaning, but with that kind of experience, I'm going to talk about cultural inter, uh, intercultural differences today uh, for the topic. And good morning, managers here. Uh, I'm Patrick, and this is Tim, Tom, Tony, and Tom. And today uh, we are going to talk about uh, intercultural differences. And as a manager working in uh, for ten years' experience working in the Caribbean in the ho uh, in the hotels of Caribbean. Uh, we are going to devise a specific plan called FIT, F-I-T. Uh, first is the feedback system, and I stands for integration, and T stands for training. And Tim will talk about uh, the integration part, like uh, the team management activities, and, and then actually we will talk about the feedback system and the training part. So, uh, let me pass my time to you. So, so, first of all, I would like to, we would like to propose the implementation of team enrichment activities on a regular basis as our first solutions. Uh, our, our primary objective is that we want to, uh, our primary objective is that we want to alleviate the tensions between you and the local staff. So, <clears throat> the team enrichment activities hold significant values and offering numerous benefits. First of all, it enhanced the morale of the local staff and increased job satisfaction. Second of all, it provided additional avenues for expression appreciations, uh, for expression of ex expressing appreciation to the local staff, demonstrating that their contributions to companies are valuable. Last but not least, the increased engagement is likely to break down barriers between you and the local staff. <coughs> Next. Uh, we would like to recommend some tailored events for your consideration. In the long term, uh, we suggest to hold the annual conference. But in the short term, we suggest events such as Christmas parties and talent shows. Uh, okay, so let me talk about the annual conference. So the annual conference is consists of the team building game and God in the party. So one of the prominent examples of team building games that we have is the Hell Kitchens. Uh, with, wherein you and the local staff will be separated in small groups. The health kitchens is different from uh, the, uh, the manager, uh, the chef of the health kitchen is in the golden recipe. Instead, it is all the employee is the chef. So you will attempt to uh, cook the British style cuisines, whereas the local staff would prepare dishes that cater to the American tastes. Before the activity started, uh, each team was given 30 minutes for, uh, for exchanging ideas to other parties and another 30 minutes to uh, strategize. So the, uh, the, the top three most delicious and tasty dishes uh, will be selected to four teams, with the winning team giving sponsorship of uh, up to 1,000 US dollar to a donation to the local charities. Let, let me talk a little bit more about the gala dinner parties. So the Gala Dinner Party, uh, it has adopted the popular style approach to beverage and cuisines. And everyone would bring a dishes to share with each other, from their hometown to share with each other. And the purpose to do so is to facilitate a deeper understanding through sharing regional cuisines. Now I'd like to pass my time to Tom. Thank you, Tim. Now, while the last plan might seem a little too long term, there are some activities that can be done short term to have instantaneous benefits. For example, the talent show. 
in this in this competition, you can form teams with your locals to try to win the show together. For example, you can try forming a music band with your locals, such as while the locals can be guitarists or drummers, and you can be the singer. By through rehearsals and performing together, you guys can form a unique bond and have a deeper understanding of each other, uncovering never known sides of your local employees, and thus help you mingle with the locals. Another plan that can be done right now is a Christmas party, which is coming up right now. As we suggested to hold a Christmas party the, the week before Christmas so as to not coincide with the locals' own Christmas party. Why Christmas party, you may ask? Well, over 90% of the BVI locals, as you know, are Christians, just like us Americans. Therefore, do, this will be a great chance to bridge the cultural gap between us by showing that despite our cultural differences, there are still similarities between us. For example, Google has always hosted a Christmas party at the end of the year with their employees, and this has been shown to work very well for helping bond their employees and repaying their hard work for the past year. During the Christmas party, there will be team building activities such as uh, as team-based scavenger hunts and Christmas trivia pageant to help you get to know your the locals better. For this first event, we would like to nominate someone like Kent, who is already beloved by local, to help make sure everyone feels welcome. So now, may I pass the time to Tony to talk about the feedback and training system. Our first solution is to foster a sense of belonging within your workforce, and um, the first solution is to foster a sense of belonging within your workforce and harmonize the dynamic between you and the local staff. Our second solution is to increase your local understanding of the culture and uh, improving your management skills through survey and training. This step is crucial because it leads to better management practice and higher customer satisfaction. One of our key strategies to increasing cross-cultural understanding and uh, employee satisfaction is by implementing employee surveys. These anonymous surveys serve as a vital mechanism to gauge employee sentiment, align your management practices to their needs, and increasing employee engagement. According to a study done by Gallup, companies with engaged employees outperform those without by 202%. <clears throat> so we suggest conducting these surveys monthly during peak seasons and bi-weekly during low season. This is to ensure that we reduce survey taking and response fatigue, making sure that these surveys don't uh, seem as burdensome to employees during busy times and lose its quality meaning. To ensure its effectiveness and relevance, we suggest collaborating with your HR experts to come up with a set of balanced questions including employee satisfaction, culture understanding, workplace environment, suggestions and concerns, and follow-up questions. Using user-friendly platforms such as JotForm, uh, we will send personalized survey links via their emails. And here, as you can see, is an example of such survey. So, after talking about the survey system, uh, actually we'll have some cultural and management training programs. And the purpose of this kind of cultural and management training programs is to first, to enhance cross-cultural communication skills, second, foster cultural sensitivity, and third, especially to adjust the management styles of you. And the contents of it is first, through developing or teaching them some cultural values and some local customs because by understanding the cultural values and their local customs actually you can know the rationale of their behaviors behind for example you may think that BBI locals are quite fast to people and actually they are quite relaxing and they are quite uh, casual in, in, in their working style and you have to know why they would be like that and the first and foremost uh, reason to know that is through cultural values and local customs and secondly, for communication styles and etiquette, by knowing their communication styles and etiquette, actually you can better communicate with them. For example, uh, no matter at work or outside of work, like you can better know them. And thirdly, through different, or through knowing different types of leadership and negotiating strategies, actually you can know how to motivate them to work harder. For example, if you guys have common interests, then actually you can negotiate with them to learn how to work harder. And the ways of learning through is through case studies and role play exercises. For case studies, actually there are many case studies that we can provide from the from the training provider. For example, you can have different 
cases of companies and different cases in different countries. And for role play exercises, we assume that you will become one of the EVI locals and another one is the manager. And actually we will provide some situations for you to interact with each other through different circumstances. And and one, one thing to add is that actually we'll invite Christine and Ken as the special trainers or as the consultant with the training providers that I will talk later. Because actually through your experiences, I think we or we think that you can provide some unique insights to the training program and improve the training program materials. Uh, so for the training provider, we suggest uh, global integration. Because actually global integration provides both cultural and national training programs. And also, they can customize the training programs to your needs. And this is very important because we expect that this training program is a long-term relationship. It's not just like a few months or like a short period of time. It's like in a year. And we will have like some continuous need assessment analysis through the employee surveys that, Tom, that Tony has mentioned before. And one of the examples is uh, Stasco. Actually, when they adopt these kind of training programs from global integration, actually they have improved their uh, trust communication and they are more efficient in, in, uh, among the employees in communication and in team meetings. And that's part of my time to come in for conclusion. We are confident that our solution will re-establish a resort as one of the tourist's favorite spot in DVI. And Let's get to work and make this a reality and bring this resort back to its glory days. Thank you so much. Okay, any questions? Any questions? Um, every group has a one asked question. Okay. Oh yes, Sefi, please. So you mentioned about the training, but is there any other things we can do to do with the peak season? Oh, actually, uh, for training programs, actually, like uh, global integration, like they have both face-to-face -face training and online training. And actually, if uh, during the peak season, actually, if they are like quite busy, actually, they can have some like, online trainings provided by global integration, so as to like uh, reduce like the, the busyness of. The, the, of, during the peak season and actually uh, for the training programs actually they also have recordings so actually if they can't attend live actually they can attend the training programs or like the online workshops uh, in a later period of time so actually uh, if they are quite busy actually they could choose not to attend it online and attend it on online at anywhere place and at any time next question so there is a high power system between major and local staff. So you mentioned the employee survey. How can you ensure employees to bring a true answer? Because sometimes they they are afraid to offend the manager. That's a great question. So that's why we decide, we as consultants and we decide with the HR experts of the, of the West Indies Yacht Club Resort to um, collaborate make sure that we don't have these, um, these issues with employees fearing the retaliation of the managers. You know, we will take it to our hands if that happens. Uh, so you have team building in both the peak and off season, but we know that uh, during off season, some of the or nearly half the managers will not be in the resort. So how do you ensure that everyone can participate to create a sense of cohesion rather than some managers being isolated in the long peak season? Well, during our peak season, the reason that managers flew back to the US is because they miss their families, right? Well, one thing we can do about these social events is that we can invite the manager's family to come into the BVI so that they can be a part of the big West Indies Yacht Club Resort family as one singular entity. Is, does that answer your question? Yes, sir. Yeah, sure. uh, so you spoke about that low season you guys plan on having a bi-weekly feedback system and in the peak season it's a monthly, right? Uh, how do you think the local employees will take like negative feedbacks or the or vice versa, how do you think the US managers will, will react to like negative feedbacks from the local employees? Do you think 
what if we, they end up taking in a very negative fashion and like they even mis they mis start misbehaving with the local employees in a worse manner? How do you uh, how do you plan on going through that too? Uh, that's why we decided to integrate the uh, the surveys into our upskilling training program for the full integration to make sure that uh, these man your managers understand uh, how to align their management practice better to employee needs and how to what kind of level of support that they require. No time. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you.